Today we are going to be wrapping one of these really cute little mini crystal hearts. These are only two centimeters wide, so very cute. And I've also got the 2.5 centimeter one there, which you could also wrap with the same design. But today I'm going to wrap the purple amethyst mini heart. So we start out with about 12 inches of our 20 gauge dead soft silver wire. Then we need to just find the middle of our wire there and make a bend in it. And we're going to start to make our bail. In the middle there, just grabbing it with your round nose pliers and slowly wrapping the wires around two times to form two little loops around our pliers there so that we have a nice strong bail. So when you're happy with your little loops there, you've gone around two times, and then we start to twist our wires. Just making sure that you are twisting equally each wire around each other. You're not just twisting one wire around the other wire. Just keep twisting. I've done about five or six half twists here. So then we're going to size it onto our crystal to see if we've done enough twists. I like to just bend the bail slightly on the top of the crystal, just so it sort of sits over the centre if you turn it on its side there. So that when it hangs on the chain, it's going to sit nicely. And just checking your loops as well as you go along. And if you're happy with your bail, then you can move on to the next part. holding your twisted part of the wire on there, you just want to make sure that the twisted part comes down to about, or well, just over half of the crystal there. So I had a look back on the video and it was six half twists I've done there. Then we can just hold it onto the crystal there and we're just going to fold each wire around the sides of the crystal there and onto the back of it. Just making sure that that bail is positioned in the centre of the top there of your crystal. And then once you've folded your wires around the back, we can just start to twist these two wires around each other as well. So just checking that they're sitting on there nicely and then holding it firmly. You can take your crystal out as well just to twist it. Um, but you do need to check it a couple of times just to make sure you're twisting enough. So again, just making sure that you're twisting both wires equally around each other. In theory, it should be about six half twists if that's what you did on the other side, but it could be five or seven, maybe. You just want to be able to meet up with the bail nicely at the top. So when you've worked the twisted wire spiral up to the bale there, you just want to take one piece of wire on each side of the bale. So it's going up over the centre of the heart at the top there. And now is another chance to just check your bale. Obviously once you've wrapped the wires around secured in place, you can't move it at all. So you just want to check now that it is perfectly sitting in the middle over the centre of your heart. And then we just grab each piece of wire, so I'll just hold that one out of the way. And just starting with one of the pieces of wire, we're just going to slowly wrap that around the bottom of the bale. Just a couple of times to secure it in place. And then just snipping that tail off, crimping the end down nice and tight. So then with the other piece of wire as well, you're just going to do the same. So just wrapping it around on top of that other piece of wire and just working nice and firmly, but gently. So just making sure it's nice and secure there. Then we can cut that tail off and crimp it down, making sure there's no sharp ends. Hopefully you have something that looks pretty similar to this, maybe just with your own little spin on it. 